The next muscle of the posterior leg is going to be the flexor hallucis longus. And we'll just move his foot like that so we can outline its origin and insertion. So it's coming off the posterior fibula here as well as the inner osseous membrane. And then it's coming down behind the medial malleolus as the tendon continues on all the way to the distal part of his great toe. So its main actions are going to be flexion of that great toe as well as a little bit of plantar flexion at the ankle. While we have him in this position, we can just as easily do a muscle test on it. So to muscle test the flexor hallucis longus, in a kneeling position here, what we can do is brace the distal part of the uh, toe into my thenar eminence, support my elbow against my thigh, and then I can slowly again load in there and he can develop a great amount of tension there. This is again a pretty big and strong tendon, so it's okay to use a bit more of a broad contact and a little bit more of my body weight to lean into him with. For a supine variation of the flexor hallucis longus, let's have the patient turn over. It's going to look very similar. We're going to be supporting across the distal end of the toe as well as holding behind the ankle here and I'm slowly going to load in and he's just going to develop force back against me. Notice my uh, supporting fingers can again palpate that tendon right behind the medial malleolus there and I can slowly come off. So there is some research indicating that maximal efficiency of the flexor hallucis longus is found when the ankle's in a neutral position. So you may want to put it in a neutral position prior to doing the muscle test. But as part of any good ankle assessment, you probably want to check neutral dorsiflexion and plantar flexion um, while you're doing your muscle test plus assessment.